Today, I want to explore whether COVID-19 deaths are being overcounted or undercounted. I wanted to start from the most unbiased place possible, so I'm completely ignoring cause of death and just looking at how many total death certificates are issued. The time period we'll look at is weeks 10 to 25, as death certificates are aggregated by the CDC on a weekly basis, and using the same weeks each year controls for seasonal fluctuation. For 2020, this is March 1st to June 20th, which was the most recent data available. Because the U.S. population grows each year and skews older, the number of death certificates also grows each year. Over the past couple years, the average year-over-year -year increase is 1.6%. In 2019, there were almost 878,000 death certificates issued during this time period. Factoring in the 1.6% yearly growth, in 2020, we would statistically expect to see around 892,000 death certificates issued. So how many were actually issued? Over 983,000. That means that compared to standard expected growth, an additional 91,000 plus death certificates were issued. That alone is a significant anomaly, but there's a twist. Many jurisdictions take time to submit death certificate data to the CDC. This has been the case for years and has nothing to do with COVID-19. According to the CDC, this lag time ranges from 1 to 26 weeks, meaning all death certificates won't be completely filed for this time period until about six months afterwards. So even if no other certificates were ever filed, we're still 91,000 death certificates above expectation. But that's not reasonable because we know this lag exists. Trump CDC uses complex historical modeling and estimates for this time period an additional 37,000 plus certificates will eventually be filed. The CDC thus believes the total to be around 1,020,000 death certificates, nearly 130,000 more than statistically expected. While their estimate could be low, we can say with solid confidence that we will likely see between 91,000 and closer to 130,000 death certificates above expectation. Let's bring in cause of death now. As of June 20th, just over 112,000 deaths were attributed to COVID-19. That's right in our range. If the same percentage of COVID deaths applies to the additional 37,000 certificates yet to be filed, you'd have a total of nearly 117,000 deaths attributed to COVID out of the 128,000 excess deaths. The numbers match up almost exactly. You may hear some people say COVID deaths are being undercounted and data is being manipulated. I see no statistical evidence of deaths that aren't accounted for by natural growth and the existing COVID numbers. More commonly, some say that COVID deaths are being overcounted, that any flu death or car accident gets a COVID tag, and hospitals tag every death as COVID. Anyone promoting that theory is required to explain how there will be well over 100,000 additional death certificates filed above our normal expectation, when there is no statistical or even anecdotal evidence of what would cause such a huge anomaly. So the conclusion is quite boring. Deaths are neither being undercounted nor overcounted, and well over 100,000 Americans have likely passed away due to COVID-19 by June 20th. I hope you found the video useful. Feel free to share to help combat misinformation and stay safe out there.